Hi. Sometimes a phishing email is so well crafted, is so branded, that it looks exactly like a real one. So it's a rather hard task to differ true email from fake email. Many fishers try to create the email looking exactly the same as the real one. Fortunately, there is a reliable method to differ the fake email from the true email. Here it is. It includes two steps. The first one is hovering and the next one is checking header. Let me show how it works on an example from real life. Here you can see an email from PayPal. What do you think? So is it real one? No way. Let's see here. If you hover our mouse cursor over the sender name, we will see the real address of the sender. And as you can see, it has nothing to do with PayPal. So it's definitely phishing email. Now let's go and see how it works in the wild. Here is my inbox and we can see some emails here. One of them is from Westpass. Let's click on it. And fortunately, Google Gmail let us possibility to see the real name of the sender right here. But some other email clients are not so friendly. So in that case, you need to hover. Just put the mouse cursor over the sender address and you can see the real address of the sender. Here is lastpass.com. But there is more of that. We definitely can go deeper and, and check the header. For that purpose, let's click on this button, then choose show original. And again, Gmail gives us all the information we need right here. We can see the IP address, the email was sent. Also, we can see the domain name, it's lastpass.com. So we can be sure the email uh, is from true source. Uh, but not all email clients are so friendly. And sometimes to get the information we need, uh, we have to dig into the raw text. In this text, what are we looking for here? First, we are looking for item return path. And as you can see here, the domain name again is lastpass.com. The next item we should find is reply to. Here it is. And again, we can see it's lastpass.com. So we can be sure now that this email was sent to us from lastpass. In case of the fake email, the domain name here would be differ than the domain name shown in the email. So that's it. To be sure that email you've got doesn't impersonate someone other, make hovering and checking header. Great, now you know how to distinguish a fake email from the real one. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to prevent yourself from whaling attack. See you in the next video.